Whenever you talk about Eastern Kentucky, the first thing that comes to most people's minds is probably the coal industry. Many will also likely think about the poverty levels that affect so many of the people living there. And there are some who will think about all the businesses that have been closed and abandoned due to the population decline. One of those businesses that has been left abandoned is the Fugates Entertainment Center. It was once the go-to spot for teenagers to hang out and for families to bring their children, and it drew in people from surrounding towns, counties, and even other states. Yet all that remains today is an abandoned movie theater and some vandalized water slides. But how did something that was once so loved by the community get this way? Let's take a look at what happened to the Fugates Entertainment Center. Fugates Entertainment Center was founded and built by Doug Fugate and his brothers. Planning for the complex began in the 1970s, with the first parts opening in 1980. And to learn more specific details about the history of the complex, I had the opportunity to talk to Rita Fugate, the wife of Doug Fugate. He actually started out as a school teacher in Perry County, and he knew that none of the kids in the county had anything to do. There were no, per se, entertainment for them, and so then he went to work as a night watchman for River Processing, which was a local coal company. And he did both those jobs. And they found out that he had a master's degree in chemistry. So they asked him to set up a lab for them. So he went from being a night watchman and school teacher to running the lab for River Processing. And in the process of that, he also bought one of their strip mine projects and from there he had the money to start building Fugates Entertainment. In 1980, the center was open to the public and consisted of a bowling alley, a skating rink, and a two-screen cinema. It was an immediate success and the Fugates began planning for expansions. It was extremely busy all the time and we went from the two cinema screens to a five-plex. We also uh, built a, another restaurant. It was called the Outside Inn, and then we built the water park, and that was a major hit in the county, and actually we had people from all over would come to that, even from other states. Then we built the restaurant and bar on top of the water park, which was the riverboat, that did very, very well. While many other businesses in the entertainment industry may have hired another company to design and build these new facilities, Doug Fugate did things differently. He uh -huh. actually built the, if you've been in there, you saw that little kidney train wash thing. He designed and built that. He designed and built the rain tree in the kiddie pool. He designed and built every bit of Fugates Entertainment. It didn't take long for the center to become loved by the surrounding communities. Many people who live in the area have memories of hanging out with their friends at the water park, going to birthday parties at the skating rink, or watching a movie at the cinema.
I didn't really go much to the bowling or the the um, water park because I think the water park closed down like when I was really little. But the skating rink, oh my god, I absolutely loved it. I probably had starting at my seventh birthday all the way up until like I was 16, 15 there. But I absolutely loved it. I loved when February came around because I just know like, oh, we're going to the skating rink. But it was like the best time just to go have the disco ball, the music and being with my friends like that was just the best part. For 25 years, Fugate's entertainment had served the nearby communities of Eastern Kentucky with Doug Fugate as the owner, but in 2005, he would unfortunately pass away. He passed away in 2005, and I was diagnosed with cancer in 2008. The entertainment center went to my stepson when my husband passed away. Their children had gotten older and went to college, and one of them actually played for the University of Tennessee, and they spent a lot of time traveling with him to watch him play football and stuff. And then they just decided to uh, sell it. So they sold it to a couple out of Breathitt County. Unfortunately for the center, all of this happened as America was entering the Great Recession of 2008. People in the community had less money to spend on entertainment, and the Fugates Entertainment Center was seeing a sharp decline in both profit and attendance. The first outward sign of trouble came in 2009, when it was announced that the water park wouldn't be opening for the summer season. The new owners claimed it was for remodeling work, but little progress was made, and as time went on, it became clear that the water park would never reopen. In the early hours of December 16, 2013, disaster struck the center when a fire broke out in the skating rink. The rink was a total loss, along with two other businesses that were located in the building. This left only half of the entertainment center left in operation, with the bowling alley and movie theater still open. Things only began to go downhill faster, as two years later, in September of 2015, the bowling alley closed its doors. Now the movie theater was the only remaining attraction at the entertainment center, and it seemed it was only going to be a matter of time until it too would close. Theaters across the country had been switching from film to digital formats, and most movies were no longer being offered to cinemas as film. The Fugate Cinema was struggling to get movies that were still on film, and they didn't have the funding to update their equipment for digital formats. The movie theater would have its final showings on January 14, 2016, and what had once been one of the largest entertainment attractions in eastern Kentucky was now left completely abandoned. Dude. This old film. You have any idea what movie it is? <laughs> you can't tell what anything is. So do I pull on boat? You have some money. Is it a boat or a tank? A boat or a tank. Oh, it's a tank. In the years that the center has been sitting abandoned, most of the furnishings and equipment have been stripped from the property, and the structures have been heavily vandalized.
What I really want and what I really doubt is for there to be like equipment still up there. But I highly doubt there will be anything. Okay then. Guess we're not going that way. There's still some of the old carpets. <laughs> this is the most movie theater carpet. This is a tiny theater. But I guess to be fair, though, it's also in a tiny town where there's not very many people. There's a hallway here. There's part of a seat. And here's the cushion from the seat. I'm going to guess that the stairs are over there and the pathway to the upstairs is here. That is to say we're not going to be going upstairs. Oh my gosh, there's more film. And glasses everywhere. This might be, I think this might be a projector, stand, oh. like the stand for them. Dude, is this a glasses room? That's a lot of glasses. I guess every theater has to. Oh, that's the glasses room, and this is the drink room. Concussion. Concussion. Not concessions. Concussion. Tonight, we're following breaking news out of Perry County. At around 8.30 this evening, firefighters rushed to a massive fire at the old Fugit's bowling alley. They just left the scene moments ago. That is where we find W. The movie theater had only been closed for a month when on February 13th, the fire struck the center again, this time claiming the bowling alley. As with the skating rink, this was suspected to be arson, although no one was ever caught. Everything was quiet at Fugates Entertainment for the next four years. The land where the bowling alley had stood was sold and a church was built in its place, but the center remained unchanged otherwise. Then on September 20th, 2020, fire struck the center one final time. 
We begin with breaking news tonight. A massive fire at the former Fugits Water Park in Perry County has closed a portion of Highway 15. Just take a look at this video a viewer sent us just before 9 o'clock. Perry County Dispatch tells us the roadway is shut down in the area around the fire. It is burning that boat-shaped building. If you're familiar with the area, you know what I'm talking about. It's been abandoned for years. WIMT's Dakota Major After three nights of the fire department being called out for small fires on the front porch of the riverboat restaurant, the arsonists prevailed. Firefighters were able to keep the fire from spreading, but the building was a total loss. Look at the inner tube and how it's like all melted and stuff from the fire heat. Mm -hmm. I like how they shaped it like a wave pool, but there's no wave machine. Is it alive? No, there's not. So, I mean, there'd be like all sorts of stuff here that goes like back and forth. This is like solid wall. I'm not about it. <laughs> Pump room. No, no wave machine. That smells bad. Hashtag Perry Fire Service. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I have more important things now. <laughs> huh? It does names. Showers was here. I thought it was going to say shine. Maybe that is what, that might be what it says. This is all like that, like, swimming yeah, pool. Yeah. But they had the tank rooms up in what used to be the other building. Shut up, I'm trying to film.
No thanks. Mm -hmm. Some dead inner tubes. And a dead statue. That's cool. There's a thing right there. Oh, I don't see it. You want some sand and rain? Some what? I've seen children. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take some pictures and then we're gonna leave. Yeah, I don't wanna walk anywhere now. <laughs> I'd feel better if it didn't have the mat, because then I could see like where the nails are and where the metal beam is. The center continues to sit in a decaying state, and there doesn't seem to be much hope for its future. The current owners don't have the money to maintain what's left, and even if they did, there likely wouldn't be enough demand in the area to support an attraction on the scale of the original. But while the physical remains continue to decay, Doug Fugate's legacy and all the memories made at Fugate's Entertainment live on. Doug was just concerned about giving kids something to do in this area. He wanted to make sure that kids had other options, that they had things to do, that they could go to the movies or they could go to the bowling alley or go skating or even the water park, the restaurants. He wanted to make sure that kids had opportunities to stay and live in Perry County. I learned how to skate. I had no idea how to do it at all. And I booked my party and every time that I had a birthday party, I would take my heelys and just like roll around on them. And then one birthday, I forgot them. And I literally thought my world was over. Like, I was like, I can't skate. This is gonna be the worst birthday party. Like I was almost in tears and my mom was like, get out there, get those skates on. And that's how I learned how to skate and I loved it. Like, I was like, I don't wanna go home now. <laughs> And the people that ran it, like, they felt like family too because they were literally so nice. And they let me play my music and all that stuff. And they were just so nice. It was, it's such a big part of my childhood that it's sad that it's gone. Doug was one, he was a very unique person. He was the intelligent and his whole thing in life was to give back to the community, to give back to the people of Eastern Kentucky.